While most people think of the Brave browser as just being privacy focused, it's actually more than that. It incorporates useful features that can improve your browsing experience. So coming up, I'll share with you the features of Brave that most people don't know exist, and we're starting right now. The Brave Shields feature is quite useful. It offers protection wherever you visit on the web. By default, it blocks trackers, ads, those cross-site cookies that follow you from site to site, and a whole lot more. On any website, to access the Brave Shields, click on the Shield icon to the right of the address bar. This will show you how many ads, trackers, and more have been blocked on that page. You can choose to disable the Shields if the site is not operating properly. Clicking the drop-down menu for advanced controls lets you customize it how you want it. Additional settings for this can be found by clicking the hamburger menu in the upper right and second from the bottom, selecting settings. Then in the left pane, select shields. There's additional settings here you can play around with, including social media blocking. Brave's Speed Reader feature gives you a more focused reading experience with less distractions. It's very similar to the reading modes in other browsers, but what makes it better is the content is modified before the web page loads rather than after, which allows for quicker loading times. To enable Speed Reader for any article, click its icon that looks like a sheet of paper to the right of the address bar. And as you can see, this looks a lot better for reading with the clutter stripped out. There's settings here at the top to change the appearance. You can change the theme, the font being used, and you can change the size of the font. Brave's Memory Saver is a performance feature that automatically puts inactive tabs to sleep, freeing up memory for active tabs and apps. This is especially great for multitaskers to improve the overall system speed. To enable Memory Saver, click the hamburger menu in the upper right corner and select Settings. In the left pane, near the bottom, select System. Then here on the right, in Memory, if not enabled, click the toggle to turn on Memory Saver. And you can choose between Moderate, Balanced, and Maximum. Balanced is what is recommended. If you want your tabs to become inactive in a shorter period of time, which would use less power, you would select Maximum. In addition, if you're using Brave on a laptop, you'll see an additional feature here called Energy Saver. I'm not on a laptop, so I can't show you. When you enable it, it's designed to extend a laptop's battery life by reducing background activity and visual effects. Browser extensions are also a thing with Brave as well. Some are built in that need to be enabled, while others can be installed from the Chrome Web Store. To view the extensions, click the hamburger menu and select Settings. In the left pane, select Extensions. If you enable Allow Google Login for extensions, it will allow you to log into third-party sites with your Google sign-in, which requires the use of harmful privacy third-party cookies. Enabling Media Router will allow the cast feature in Brave to cast to other cast-enabled devices. Doing so will require that you relaunch Brave. Below that, enabling WideVine lets you view protected content within Brave. Select Manage Extensions if you have any extensions installed, this is where you could view and manage them. If you don't have any installed, you'll see a link here to the web store. There's also a link here on the left. Clicking either of those opens the Chrome web store. All extensions here can be installed on Brave. If privacy is a primary focus for you, it's probably best not to install any privacy invading extensions. Brave has a customizable newsfeed that is curated from the sources you select. When you launch Brave or open a new tab, scroll down and it'll populate in a single feed. To enable it or customize it, let's go back to the top. Within the page in the upper right, select the settings icon. This is where you can customize the new tab page for Brave. In the left pane, select Brave News. You'll see popular sources. You can select view all to see all of them. Let's go back. And you'll also see suggestions. There's also a view all link right here. To enable any sources, click the plus. I'll select this one here. And you'll notice it shows up in the left pane. Let's scroll down to channels, which is where you can enable by topic by clicking on the plus. I'll go with cars. 
gaming, and technology. And you'll notice those are listed here on the left pane as well. If you decide to unfollow, you would just select unfollow. Brave, who used to use DuckDuckGo as the default search engine, now has their own private search engine they call Brave Search, which is the default in their browser. It works just as well or better than Google, Bing, and the many others, and the results are not based on a profile that they have on you. In fact, they don't collect any search data on you at all. You can use it in the search box on any new tab page, or you can do a search in the address bar. Here's a comparison of Google Search and Brave Search. On Google, doing a search for best running shoes shows a flurry of sponsored results prior to getting to the actual results. On Brave Search, doing that same search for best running shoes, the actual results are closer to the top than with Google. This will be a quick one. Many people are unaware that Brave has a screenshot tool built in. To use it, click the share icon to the right of the address bar, then click on screenshot. Left click and drag the area that you'd like to capture and then let go. When it's done, clicking on download lets you save it to your computer. For those getting AI burnout, you might want to skip this segment. Brave has Leo, its AI assistant built into the browser. It can summarize pages, answer questions, create content, and a whole lot more. As they say, it's private, anonymous, and secure. No account or login is required to use it. And Leo doesn't retain or share your chat or use your chats to train their model. To bring up Leo in the right sidebar on the Brave new tab page or on any site, click the AI icon in the upper right. Enter your query in the box here at the bottom. I'm gonna have it summarize this page. When it's done, you can ask follow-up questions. Leo AI is free to use, but with limitations. What those limits are, they don't say, just like other AI companies. But if you want the premium version of Leo AI, that'll set you back around $15 per month. Horizontal tabs is the default with Brave to have them aligned from left to right at the top. To have them stacked vertically, right-click on an existing horizontal tab and select at the bottom, use vertical tabs. You'll now see them in a sidebar on the left. Clicking on this button here at the top will minimize them. To go back to horizontal tabs, right click on any tab and unselect use vertical tabs. As a general rule, I don't sign up to rewards programs of any kind, so I'll just mention this to those of you who do. If you enable ads, Brave lets you earn tokens they call basic attention tokens. Each token or bat lets you support content creators or websites or you could exchange your bat for currency, both fiat and crypto, using Brave Wallet, or purchase gift cards. Even though this is something I'd never do, I'm not judging, you do you. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you use Brave, what are your favorite features and why do you use it? Let us know in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to hit the bell to not miss out on our latest free software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.